What is up, Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider John coming at you with another video. <laughs> Guys, it is official. It is official. I wanted to do a video like maybe a week ago when I first heard it, but I wanted to wait till it was official, and it is now official. Antonio Brown is a fucking Raider, baby. <laughs> <laughs> dude um antonio brown is one of the best wide receivers to ever play the game guys this guy is a fucking playmaker all fucking all the way just all the way a playmaker the guy just <laughs> he takes defenses apart like he takes the top off a of defense he also takes that quick slant and takes it to the house the guy could run every single route. The man just needs one little catch and he can make a motherfucker miss and take off. Like, he is the whole package. When you want a wide receiver, this is the guy you want. Um, And it, it was fucking amazing, man. Everybody's been talking about it. Everybody's been yapping about it. And I wanted to wait till it was official because I couldn't believe it, guys. I could not believe that this shit was going to actually go through. I did not know... How the fuck we got Antonio Brown and for a third and fifth round pick at that. I mean, how uh, how the fuck does that happen? How the fuck does that happen? That does not happen, man. Um, you do not give up the best wide receiver in the game or one of the best wide receivers in the game for a third and a fifth round pick. That doesn't make any fucking sense. To put this into perspective, people, we got AJ McCarron. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, for a fifth round pick, we also got <laughs> Latavius Bryant for a third round pick. Now, um, I don't know about you, but Antonio Brown's worth like 10 of them motherfuckers, all right? So I don't know what the fuck was going on in the Steelers front office, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy, man. I'm fucking happy. Hey, you, I, I'll take it. That shit was amazing, man. Yo, this free agency is the best free agency in years. I think in, in a decade. I think this is like a shot of adrenaline to the NFL fan base. Like, this is just crazy. What's going on right now? Odell Beckham Jr. just got traded to the Browns. Like, what, what the fuck just happened? I mean, I, wh 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 where did that come from? Where the fuck did that come from? Eric Berry was just released. What else happened? Uh, Joe Flacco. He went to the Broncos. Joe, overthrow your ass. Flacco went to the Broncos. Man, that, that just reminds me of the time that he actually did fucking overthrow somebody. But uh, the receiver was smart enough to keep running. Stopped for a little bit. Made, you know, Chad Bailey bite and fucking eat shit. And then he backed up, caught the ball, and went on to the playoffs and win the Super Bowl. So... Of course, they'd pick him up thinking he could do that again, but um, it hasn't been the same Joe Flacco since. <laughs> Blake Bortles is gone. Nick Foles, psh, welcome to Jacksonville. That is fucking funny, man. Nick Foles just got traded in Jacksonville. That's that's some crazy shit. Earl Thomas finally getting his big payday. That's that's a trip. Um, signs with the Ravens, dude. The Honey Badgers in our division now. What the fuck, man? Went to the Chiefs. The fucking Jets, man. They landed Bell. I, I thought we had a chance, but apparently we didn't. Um, it was always going to be between the Jets or the Ravens, supposedly. That's what I read. Hey, whatever. Man, Le'Veon Bell just... That dude sat out a year and just said, Fuck it, I'm going a, I'm to a cash in right now. <laughs> that man, that man... He did the right move, man. He made the right moves. He made the right decisions. He did the right thing. Uh, he did not play for what he was not worth. All right, so as I, as I said before, man, if you're going to get, you know, into a game that is known to cause injuries, you better get that guaranteed money. You better get that guaranteed money. And boy, did he get it. Uh, so did Antonio Brown. So I was like, Damn, Steelers, y'all need to start coughing some of that change up, man. Like, come on. Mark Ingram went to the Ravens. Shit, dude. Cameron Wake went to Tennessee. Michael Bennett's now in New England. 
freaking oh speaking of <laughs> the philadelphia eagles making trades look who's going back to philly the sean motherfucking jackson is going back to philly hey man i'm a raider fan die hard raider fan but let's be real about this everybody knows the sean jackson belongs in green and that's just how it's supposed to be guys so he's heading back to where he's supposed to be and uh i could respect that wish he would have became a raider for you know that one free agency a few years ago but um it is what it is you know fuck it all these players that are going different places it's 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 it's, it's a trip it's a fucking trip man this is probably one of the wildest free agencies i've seen since l davis was alive i mean it's it's getting nutty man uh shit i mean <laughs> i can't i can't believe yo jets are making moves raiders are making moves um browns are making moves man it seems like like everybody's making moves this year and it, it all happened way in advance and the reason why guys i didn't do a video right away was because of what happened with Barr. And the Minnesota Vikings. He was supposed to sign with another team. He decided to stay with the Minnesota Vikings. He actually, They actually had a verbal agreement that he was going to sign. I think it was with um, the Ravens or something. And he decided to stay with the Minnesota Vikings. Shit like that happens all the time, guys. And I honestly, I didn't want to fucking do a video until I knew for sure. For sure that we had this shit locked down. And we have it locked down, man. Antonio Brown is a fucking Raider. Man. Uh, I'm happy, man. I'm fucking happy. I'm ecstatic. Um, we also made a big splash on, on that old lineman. Uh, yo, Kalecio Semele just got traded to the Jets. Damn, man. KO. I wish you luck, man. Uh, unless you're playing us. But uh, I wish you luck. I, I, that dude put it down for that line for years. And uh, when he first came over from uh, from the Ravens, I, I, I thought this guy, you know, oh, well, what, what, what's, a line, what's a lineman can do? You know, well, what can a lineman do? What, what's the big deal? You know, I didn't think anything of it. That man literally drilled in respect for that line when it came to watching this guy play. This dude is a beast. So I understand now and I pay more attention now to the line because of KO. I honestly was less enthusiastic about an O-line, even though I knew it was important. I knew it was there to protect the quarterback, you know? So I knew that. But KO gave me a new emphasis on, um, you know, observation and paying attention to how a player attacks the other player on offense. Like, it, I'm not even playing. Like, he attacked. He didn't fucking just protect. He attacked. He went after motherfuckers and laid them on their ass. So, KO, thank you for all that you did, and thank, thank you for giving me a newfound respect for the O-line, and uh, oh, good luck to everything you do, man. Any, anyway, uh, we ended up um, getting rid of KO, and we got this big-ass motherfucker <laughs> coming in, um, Trenton Brown, uh, protected Brady's blind side for, for a while now, and... Uh, he was one of the top fucking free agent linemen. So, uh, good pickup. Mayock. Man. You, you, you've been, you've been wrapping up in free agency, man. You've been tearing it up right now. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still tripping on all the, the buzz surrounding the Raiders right now. I am tripping out on how this shit just shot out of nowhere, man. I mean, it, it just, it just came out of nowhere, man. So uh, I'm really happy, guys. Uh, uh, I can't believe it, man. Antonio fucking Brown, man. That 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 was that was that was a good fucking going, man. Now Amari, who? So good luck to him. But I'm happy where we're at now. We have, dude. I, I'm still tripping, man. We have all three picks in the first round still. All three picks. And we still have the second round. How the fuck did that happen? I don't... I, like, I seriously don't get it, guys. Like, how how the fuck did we not give up a first round or a second round pick for Antonio Brown? That... that That's unheard of, man. I am still tripping out. I get it. 
Brown was playing the system and he played it like a fucking violin. Like he didn't like hesitate at all to say, I will retire if I don't go where I want to go. That dude just, he, he played it perfectly. I am not going to lie. So I give him props for that. But uh, like still, I still think that man was w- worth way more than what we gave up for. So I'm like, wow. My, and you know what? You know what's funny? I, I love you. Want to? I'm gonna end it on this this part right here. What the best parts about this whole situation? Everybody was talking shit. Everybody was talking shit about Gruden. Everybody was trashing Gruden on in the media. Everybody like took their shots. All these analysts just coming out of the woodwork, fucking trashing his decision making and how how bad he is at, at what he's doing and how he shouldn't be like you know paid that much money because of the stupid decisions he's making and a bunch of shit like that just trashing him you know um guys when he went out there and said there's plenty of players that want to come to the raiders the media laughed at him the media fucking made fun of him they they were cracking jokes at this guy they silent as a motherfucker now like they have not brought up that shit at all, <laughs> like, dude. I, I, what, 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 like man, I, I'm tripping out. Antonio Brown, uh, Trent Brown, uh, Marcus uh, Loiner, um, Tyron Williams, dude. I, I, I'm tripping out, man. Like. Raiders making moves, man. We're making moves. And uh, I'm happy, man. I'm one happy Raider fan about this shit. It, it looks like we are going offense in the free agency and we're going straight defense in the draft. I do not know if that's how it's going to go, but I'm hoping that's how it goes because, dude, there, there are so much, so much good talent in the draft right now on defense. Like, there's so much. I'm, watching, I'm trying to give uh, actual uh, video reactions to – uh, players coming out of the um, college into the draft and uh i don't watch college football i've already you know explained this a couple times but so like this is fresh to me this is new to me so i'll, I'll watch like just a clip and, and then i'll turn it off just so okay I'll, I'll save that one for later or something and then just one one little like clip and you see these guys and the way they fucking go after them it's it's crazy it's crazy man uh uh, or are we watching NFL Network and, sh- dude, shit just pops up and you're like, wow, who the fuck is that, you know? I'm I'm very excited, dude. I am very excited. Come draft time, uh, it's going to be cutting it close, guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a reaction video this year. Um, I thought I'll let you guys know that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a, a draft reaction video this year because I have a baby on the way. Um, my wife's pregnant. I have a baby girl on the way, and she's due in April, April 24th, (laughs) so um, I'm going to try, but uh, family first, you know how that goes, Uh, so see what happens, guys, Uh, I'm I'm ecstatic, man, I'm I'm so proud of my, my team making these moves and doing things to make our team better, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this whole situation, guys. Um, and we're still picking in the top 35 four times. That that's crazy, man. That that's fucking crazy. That's just wild. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Go Raiders.